So now this is set up, we're going to run, uh, we've run our migrations. So let's just go to the database and see what happened when we run our migration. So if I click on the voting app, you're going to see that three tables have been created, but nothing is inside yet. So, but we, we need Laravel to build the user registration for us. You understand? We need the user registration and sign up whatever to be built for us. So we will go to our command prompt and uh, start typing. Uh, PHP artisan make auth. Uh, if we run this, Lava will create a lot of things for us. And, uh, it will scaffold a lot of files. Uh, it will create your login page, your registration page, your uh, your forgot password page, and the sample um, dashboard. So it has already created it. So let's go see. So if we come here, nothing will change in our database. But we need to run the Laravel app. To run it, uh, make sure that your Laravel app is running. I'm just going to open this. Oops, I'm looking for something. I want to open a new window so that we don't obstruct what we're doing. So our whole shift right click and open a new window here. Cool. So I just want our server to be running on one window where we can, when we can use, then we can use this other window to do other things. All right. So I come here and uh, I'll run PHP artisan serve. This is how you run a PHP, um, you run a Laravel on your application. I hit enter. So this pins off a Laravel application or server running on our system. So you copy this control C on my keyboard once. If you press Ctrl C twice, it will exit this server. Just press it once. So I've copied this. Then I'll go to my browser, right click, paste and go. As you can see, uh, it has pasted, sorry. If I pan to the right, you see Laravel is already running and basically set up. If I pan to the right, I'll say login and register. So let us register. But before we register, while it's opening, I want to remind you that there is nothing in the user's table. Look at, we are on user's table and there's zero things in the user's table. So I'm trying to register a new user. The new user's name is Dave. And uh, the email is this. I'm going to do it. Add a password. And add a confirm password. Make sure that your confirm password is same with your password. Click on register. It's supposed to log me in. So we're registered and logged in. Look at there is a voting uh, app uh, already designed, and there is a logout section, and then this is the uh, the dashboard. So basically, this works perfectly for us the way we want it. All right. So I'm going to click on logout. See, it works. Login. So enter this. Enter my password. Uh, even forgot password, let me right click and open it in the new page. Remember me. So this is awesome because it, it gets you um well started. We're logged in again as you can see. And there's this forgot password that is super cool. If I click send password reset link, it's gonna email me my reset link. But this won't work if your application is not already hosted on the internet, like this one. This one is still hosted on my system. So this is the basic thing we need. And uh, in the next video, we're going to have to integrate a Facebook um, sign-up next few videos. So I'm logging out here. We don't want a log sign-up or sign-in. Once somebody clicks on this, we don't want them to see a form. They're just going to see a login, uh, a Facebook login button. There is no sign-up. There is no sign-in. And uh, once they click on the, the Facebook login, it's going to um, get their Facebook details, create an account for them if they don't already have one, and then log them in. And that's superb so that they don't create multiple accounts. All right. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.